everybody. Here we go. And pour it in there. And I've got the loofah as centered as I think I can get it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Trying to pour it from really high up. Let's see how we're doing. We seem to be doing okay. That's the other thing is I put um, I put paper down in my workspace when I'm pouring into the tube because I don't always have the best aim. All right, everybody. So it wasn't quite enough soap to cover everything. I do have to pound it. Mm, I wonder if I can get something to pound it on so that it doesn't make such a loud noise because frankly, there's people sleeping. Well, I have to say it's kind of working. You see it's sort of slowly evening itself out. But this is good because I'll be able to test cutting the loafa outside of the soap. Maybe it's not a good thing. I don't know. can't tell. Do you think too much or too little soap is better? <laughs> this is probably good because through the pounding I can tell it's going into more of the pores, but I'm also shifting the lufa over to the left inadvertently. Well, the soap on the outside of the loafa and the soap on the inside of the loafa seem to be at the same spot. I'm not sure if I can get that loafa moved over. You know what? I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> it's time to cut the soap. time to get the soap out of the tube. This is what I'm interested about because I'm a little afraid that the loafa is going to push right through it. <laughs> okay, so it worked. Uh, it worked mostly except for those parts right there. <laughs> or it looks like it shrunk or didn't really embed, it didn't really stick to it. Strange. Alright, so let's see, I can't cut this, cut this puppy. <laughs> A 
Oh, that's Loafer with soap in it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I can spread it like butter onto this. Okay, so the trick is a sliding motion <laughs> as you're cutting, because otherwise it, it just squashes. But it does cut through the loafa, and that's what I was really concerned about. Was, is it going to cut through the loafa? Oh, that's not so bad. That's actually pretty spiffy. It's nice that it's still soft so I can kind of fix all the spots that are falling apart. And there are, all, there are spots that are falling apart. I'm thinking maybe I should have used um, either a smaller loafah or uh, more soap batter to start out with. Like more than I thought I would need. So that it could fill all the little crevices and not be really thin in some places. Because I think where it was thin is where the soap is cracking now. This is a really soft, well, <laughs> it's all soft in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, so that wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. I honestly thought there was going to be another 15 minutes of trying to figure out how to cut this and going through different cutting implements with teeth and possibly power tools. I don't know. There it is, a loaf of in bed. Hooray!